Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, Saturday, April the 14th. I understand tax day is the 17th. You better get after it. I've already done that. Uh, uh, I need a loan. If anybody's out there wants to help me a loan, uh, uh, I don't mean a loan. I need, a, I need some money. I had to pay this year for the first time. So uh, there goes my trip to the Siberia. I was planning, you know, uh, I got a real good, uh, cool deal over there to go to Siberia. I bet. Uh, yeah, so, so to speak. Don King's in the studio, along with a lot of other people. Uh, we're going to background him and, uh, and, and see what, uh, what he's going to be singing about. Uh, uh, look forward to the show every year. Uh, talk a little boating safety with uh, Betsy Woods. And, of course, this second Saturday means that um, John Gordon is uh, filling in. Uh, he's going to do some background music with uh, Don, if we all know the song. And uh, what what do you got up your sleeve? I don't. That's a magician's talk. But uh, I'm just kind of in a fishing mood. You're in a fishing mood. Yeah. All right. All right. Go fishing. It's funny. That's the title of this. I know it is. Come on. That's <laughs> He's been thinking about work, wondering if he'd been missed, been waiting all month for a day like this. Second cup of coffee as he heads to the car While thinking about the traffic has a change of heart He calls the office, puts a day on hold And he hooks his truck up to that new bass boat He's gone fishing Fishing. Everybody now Everybody He's gone Gone fishing fishing. You better get it in the water Don't waste time Looking for some action on the end of that line Here's a verse for all the uh, free fishing day kids that are looking forward to that. Looking forward to you. All right. All I got to do is think of the first line. So just keep on going. <laughs> We're rocking right with you. We're all speechless. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's summertime blue. His mother left him with a long list of chores to do. <laughs> She hadn't any more than driven into town When he gives up and shuts that lawnmower down He grabs the bait can and the old cane pole And he heads on down to that honey hole He's gone fishing All right, come on now He's gone fishing You know a bass boat, cork float, fish don't care There ain't no limit to the fun out there He's gone fishing Gone fishing. Where's he gone? Gone fishing. He is gone fishing. Gone fishing. There you go. David Best, you ought to hear nice, that song. Nice. That's that ought to be that ought to be that primary tackle theme song yeah, right there. The primary tackle theme song. For <laughs> yeah, sure. put that in there and uh, pipe it in there because that's uh, so. Is that uh, you didn't write that, did you? Yeah, I wrote that with Dave Woodward. You did, right? Yeah. Did yeah. you do that on Second Nature, or did you do that? Uh, uh, you know what? I don't you ever think record? we've ever recorded. You've never recorded that one it on, on Second Nature. I think I did that one for the agency. Every now and then, I get to even write a song and and. Call oh, you it. do? Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, it's yeah. Copyrighted? I mean, uh, I yeah. can't just pick it up and say, yeah. "Yeah, okay." We want to make sure that <laughs> nobody comes in and gets your song right there. You know, gone fishing. Well, I think like it's protected. Yeah. It is protected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, everybody with a TWRA <laughs> ought to be protected. So, uh, and Betsy's here this morning, and uh, appreciate Betsy being with us. And uh, Betsy, I know uh, in your job as a boating coordinator. I think some people would be stunned to know how many boats we got in Tennessee. I don't know if you know that, but you probably do, but uh, a have, round figure. We have about 259,000 registered boats. 259,000 registered boats. That's not counting kayaks and canoes and stand-up paddle boards. We have a few kayaks now, right? We do have a few of those, yeah. And, and they're going to figure huge. in a lot of boating decisions, I think, in the near future. Uh, as far as dealing with kayaks, because there's so many of them out there. And uh, Betsy was telling me before we went on there, tragically, we don't like to have any uh, fatalities, but we've had two this year, right? Yes, sir, we've had two. 
and one of them was on Kentucky Lake. That's right. It involved a... It involved a kayak, cold water, 41-degree water, um, high winds. You know how Kentucky Lake Not gets. a good day to be on Kentucky Lake. No, it wasn't. And, and uh, 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 the cold water got the fellow. He the cold water out. did. Yeah. yeah. He, and, he, had an arm through a life jacket. He didn't wasn't wearing the life jacket. Life jacket was attached to the kayak. Oh, but, um, yeah. You, know, you lose all that feeling in your extremities, and it's yeah, on Kentucky, top of that uh, big gulp of water when you first go in. So. Yeah, and I know, uh, John, you know as a duck hunter, uh, the safety, uh, uh, you know, boating safety, a lot of people don't realize. They think, well, I'm going to go to the blind. I'm going to be there. Uh, I, I know when I go, you know, if you're in a boat, you better have that jacket on, right? Uh, that's very true. I mean, you know, waterfowling, especially, you know, rivers, dealing with that, and that, that big river that's to the west of us yes. there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you've really got to pay attention to what's going on. And, uh, I mean, people die out there every year. And they look at hypothermia, and Betsy, as, as we're talking to Betsy Woods about it, uh, uh, p- more people, you could buy a boat. Get me if I'm wrong here. You can go to our good friends, uh, what, Bass Pro, whatever, and buy a boat on Friday, and can and can you take it and go fishing the next day with it? Sure. <laughs> Without any kind of boat education. If it's a motorized boat and you're born after January 1st, 89, then you have to have some education certification. All right, and we do have these classes. Just like Gene teaches all these hunter education classes, uh, boating classes now have become so important, and I think you said that we got one coming up pretty soon? We do. We just ended um, in March, spring aboard, take a boating safety course. We certified over 100 people during that campaign, and there's one coming up in a couple of weeks in Brighton, Tennessee, at Brighton High School, May the 10th. All so right. be in the afternoon from 4.30, and you'll be certified if you pass the exam and out of there by 8 that night. What now? You're four o'clock and you're out of there by eight, and you, and you pass the exam. That's so right. So there's no on un, water uh, field day. Or there anything. is not, unfortunately. And that is a thing that I've always thought that we needed. But I know I don't know how you could regulate that. Just like Gene, when you guys have a hunter education class, you do spend a day in the field. Shake your head, so I know you're alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they do. They do this, and and, and let us know. So boating education is now so important to. Uh, uh, our boats now. You know, there's some big boy boats out there now. Uh, you know, with a lot of horsepower. And David, you can look at that. I I got four trolling motors in my attic, and they all work, but the, none of them have the thrust that a trolling motor has now. Uh, and they're out of sight. And you look at a bass boat now. You're looking at David. How much is a bass boat? Do you think how much is going to cost David best? If if somebody wanted to start bass fishing, if you're looking at a new bass boat, a yeah, fiberglass I'm, bigger boat, you're looking anywhere from forty to a hundred thousand dollars. Forty uh, to a hundred thousand, and that, that that just means you're pulling it. You better have a yeah, a well, nice that truck. Include the truck no, does I'm not include the, the truck. Boat. So over a so, hundred thousand dollars, you could yeah. spell. Oh, easy, yes. very easily. I mean, even even in a lower end rig in a fourteen foot aluminum John boat with a motor and all that, you're still looking at five or six grand. Wow. Heck, in these kayaks anymore, they've got those that run five grand once you get them rigged out. Really? So, yeah. So, I mean. There's lots of songs in here you could pick up from this, Don. <laughs> you know, and I mean, this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of theme th- things that go through Don's mind when he hears something. I think I'll write a song about that or something, you know. I write a, a you know, it's typical. But it, when we talk about this, and, and Don, I know you, people know that, do you have, have you had people come up and. And and you met them, and they listened to your voice and knew who you are. Yeah, uh, every now and then I'll be, you know, going through checkout or something at the grocery store, and somebody say your voice sounds familiar, or they'll they'll spot, you know, and say, "Really, are you?" In? Yeah. So it's it's kind of fun. Doesn't happen all the time, but you know, every now. Okay, and then. Okay, everybody, after if you see Don King, you know, running back down the Na- on the road to Nashville <laughs> this morning, uh, and he stops at a du- at a service station. Listen for the voice. It's called the voice. Now, I know uh, you got anything else. That you, can you uh, give us another tune during this segment, or you just want to hold it off for a while? Uh, uh, Let's see. Well, we could always do the, you know, the <clears throat> the favorite. Can't we? Yeah. That's what I was hoping we could for. Do that. Yeah. Or do you want to hold that to the end? Or well, can we? whatever you think. Whatever you think, Larry. No, let's do it now. Let's do All it. All right. Now. You got three minutes to do it. Oh, okay. This is our favorite. 
Yeah, even the uh, our executive director is a co-writer on this song. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Well, our legislators passed it. Yeah, here we go. Now it's law in Tennessee. We got some laws, too. What we find on the highway is legal now to eat. Ooh, my Deer, raccoon, possum, oh, hey, they've all become fair game. It's an open season smorgasbord on every state highway. Yeah. Well, we used to swerve to miss them. <laughs> oh, but the grocery bill's so high. Oh, they're getting higher. We supplement our shopping out on the center line. Right down the middle. Grandpa says it's the best thing oh, Grandpa. since Roosevelt's a new deal. Yeah, cause it ain't like a handout. What is it? No, it's more like meals on wheels. Here we go, everybody. Cause we got the, the roadkill, the roadkill bill. Oh, bill. Now folks in Tennessee can get now. their fill. Hey, it's given brand new meaning to the phrase hot off the grill. Now that we have the road. Kill you. Larry, yes. you know they laughed at us oh, on Leno. Oh, Leno. Hey, they tried to put us down. Always putting us down. Oh, but when one buck will feed the family, well, look who's laughing now. <laughs> hey, this stuff is all free ranging. It's organic to the bone. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit of tar and gasoline, <laughs> but she's ready to take home. Here it comes. Cause we got the, the roadkill, the roadkill bill. Our next meal might be just over the hill. Hey, it's given brand new meaning to the phrase hot off the grill. Now that we have the roadkill bill. One more big ending here. Now that we have the roadkill bill. We'll be right back.